Jay Lee with Speedboat Magazine here with another episode of Boats and Bros Podcast. We are in Charleston, South Carolina celebrating the Mercury Racing 50th Anniversary Gala at uh, the Cedar Room and what a party it's been and I want to introduce Brevin Luring of Morpha Design uh, who was responsible for all the crazy technical videos that were shown today. Yeah. Brevin, how are you? Doing great. Thank you for having me on. It's been a long time coming, I feel like. Yeah. So you've been working with Mercury Racing for quite a, quite a while, yeah. developing all their, their, their media. Yep. Um, tell us about that. Yeah, so it's been it's been about five years, um, you know, working with them, and uh, the relationship has definitely grown. Um, you know, starting out just doing little photo shoots here and there of uh, of product, and and now in 2023 launching a new flagship. Um, it's been a journey. Yeah. Yeah. The the video to set it all up. Uh, how do you hire somebody with a voice like that? Do you know that person? Because it's yeah. it's unbelievable. And does he know anything about <laughs> engines? Because I'm sitting there thinking, I was like, man, this guy's got a voice, and oh, uh, he's telling guy. me about the bigger <laughs> throttle body and yeah. and the bigger like, inner cooler. Designed to deliver unparalleled premium performance, and engineered to handle the intense demands of high performance boating. The new V8 500R delivers astonishing power density. Does he know anything about what yeah. he's talking about? So, yeah. funny enough, yeah. uh, the guy's name is Moose. Yeah. yeah. Um, I hired, Figure, figures a guy from Wisconsin, yeah. maybe? No, so I hired him. Uh, Voices.com <laughs> um, is actually a service. I don't, I mean, yeah, it, yeah. it is what it is. I've used yeah. them for years. Um, I found Voices.com through, like, uh, I used them back in, like, 2016 for, like, a, a job. And anytime I needed a voiceover, I would go to Voices.com and basically use submit a script um, and there's a lot of like time and energy that goes into creating mm -hmm. that script uh, you submit it and you get just uh, hundreds of auditions that's cool I've, I've heard of that same thing happening if you have uh, something a character or something yeah. that you want drawn or yeah. something like that so the funny thing is is I used moose the, the VO artist on a, on a job that I did in 2016 for uh, like a, a dairy expo client um, and he now like through like years later now he landed on this and it's uh Andrea you know Andrea loved it um, the brand manager at Mercury Racing um, yeah so voices.com cool. speaking of Andrea tell us how she found you she found me through um, my first my first ever company shift um, she sent me a, a, a message through like my contact form mm -hmm. um, Lisa Scola at Mercury Racing at you know her yeah um, she she, uh, she happens to be like best friends with my mom. Nice. I was 19 at the time. How old are you now? Uh, 25. Okay. Old man. Um, old man. <laughs> old man. And uh, it's just, it's been crazy, you know, since 19 to 25 to like the, the type of work that we are accomplishing. You know, it's, it's, it's cool. You guys did an unbelievable job on that and to Thank see you. all the other boats out there running yeah. and to uh, not even particularly notice the boat as much is you notice the engine right. uh, that is powering the boat on all those mm -hmm. uh, which is obviously your guys job because mm -hmm. you're promoting the engine more than a brand of boat because there's so many boats that those engines go on yeah and for us you know it's it's promoting the engine the product right like that's the main focus but it's also promoting like the uh, the experience you know what we anticipate people to um, experience when they when they purchase this type of package um, you know with these boats that we utilize um, yeah it, it turns out great I gotta tell you Brevin I was speaking to Jeff Tomlinson of North Tech uh, Boats and he was telling me he's like it was so cool to watch that video and not just see it but learn about it right so not, not only did uh, you know it was pretty pictures put together mm -hmm. but actually learn how everything goes together how it works how it was developed yeah. and that's a complete process for you to take that from the factory, mm -hmm. the engineers, and then put it to digital video 
Digital Media. Right. How does that work? Yeah, so when we start out with a product, um, any new product that comes through Mercury Racing, um, you know, the engineers will sit down with us and, and basically have this, this massive presentation of every new technical feature that is in these new engines. Um, you know, down to the nut and bolts. Yeah. Um, some of the stuff just is not marketable. Um, so you look at some of the features uh, that they present to us and then we figure out how to put a visual flair on it. Um, In layman's language too. Yeah. And because it's, you've got to keep it, uh, you know, to where the guy that might be watching on TV or the, the person uh, that right. it's, it's not too much, but it's enough. Yeah. And you don't want to, you don't want to feed too much info. I think the video that we produced is definitely like the, uh, I would call it the perfect balance of everything there is to know about this product. Um, there's a lot more that goes into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But in well, I, I learned something. You know, when, when I'm watching it, and I figure that I know about everything about it, because mm -hmm. we've even bolted them on boats already, this right. new 500, yep. and uh, I was like, oh, well, I didn't know that. You know, yeah. or, oh, that, that's cool, I didn't realize that. Throttle body, uh, supercharger, uh, I didn't notice the visual stuff, midsection, lower unit, stuff like that, but uh, yeah, it, it was it was good. It, I, Kept me interested for the five minutes. Yeah. yeah, of course we're talking about the the launch that was introduced tonight uh, of the new Mercury Racing V8 500R. A little bit different than this one here. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. I think for us, what was different in this one too is we renamed uh, two different components of the engine that ha has really not been touched in years. So the um, what used to be the advanced midsection is now called the advanced racing core, or the ARC. Mm -hmm. um, the R drive and the R drive Sport, which was previously the uh, the Sportmaster and the 544 HD. Mm -hmm. um, so with this one, we really wanted to create a platform that sets us up for future product. Yeah. Um, because it's just it's very important from a from a branding perspective to be able to uh, you know create those opportunities for for anything that happens in the future. Well, I got to tell you, so with, with us working with uh, Mercury Racing for our second uh, year of collaboration, mm -hmm. um, I've been blessed to work with. A genius like like <laughs> Brevin, uh, and and I don't I don't say that lightly. Um, the some some of the stuff that he comes up with digitally, it's like CGI, and I mean the amount of effort and time and love and care down to the millisecond of each video is just astounding and I don't know if I'm sure most of the people that watch the videos go oh that's cool and then they'll move on but me I kind of geek out on stuff that you do because there's so much into it and you started on what well, like most of the people start on like mm -hmm. iMovie yeah yeah Tell us about when you started with iMovie and where you are now. So I I started editing videos uh, when I was in fifth grade. Wow. Um, my mom bought a iMac computer and had iMovie installed on it. I immediately just started creating videos through like the webcam. <laughs> That'll be good. <laughs> They're doing good. <laughs> um, no, no problem. Party goers. <laughs> yeah. 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 So Sorry, go ahead. I think cool. um. <sighs> Like, yeah, you, you know, a lot of people look at iMovie and they're like, this is like such a base platform and like you can't create professional stuff on iMovie, but I look at it and it's like, um, in, in fifth grade, like I was I was learning the concept of like a timeline, yeah. which is what a video is. You know, it you're is, a storyteller. Yeah, it's it's a timeline. At the end of the day, it's, it's a, a lot of pieces connected together. Um, that creates this this one project, and and even iMovie is able to like teach you something like that. So I used iMovie for you know years throughout like middle school. I, I it, it sounds weird to say, but like I still haven't made it to iMovie. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun program. Um, <laughs> no, I get it, but uh, it's just when that's sound. how tech savvy bad I am. Where it is out, so you had like Crayola drawings of a boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 When seventh and eighth grade turned around. Like that is when I started to like um, really I started like having a lot of focus into what I was creating and what I was creating at the time was like skateboarding videos with my friends yeah uh, BMXing around town snowboarding at the local ski hill um, putting that to like cool music and putting it on YouTube 
Um, did any of your friends make it big on sponsorship and stuff from you doing videos for them? No, like we, it, that's the thing is that like it never got attention. Yeah. You know, it, it never. It was just for you guys. Yeah, and, and I grew up in a really small town, uh, Mayville, Wisconsin. And I was, I just kind of came like, I, I was, I, I was the video guy. Yeah. You know, I was, I was that young kid who made videos and, um, you know, as soon as I hit high, uh, high school, it just, it, it changed and companies would reach out and ask for, uh, promotional videos, um, and things like that. And I was doing like quote unquote professional work in, in like, like freshman year of high school, um, which was cool. I mean, it, I, I deleted all the videos because they're just, I would cringe if I watched them. <laughs> like, they were bad. It's just like when I watch <laughs> a Boats and Bro podcast. You delete I the first I, one. No, I can't even watch it because I'm like, look at me, I sound like <laughs> such a joker. You yeah, know? It's like the same thing. Like, I just, I, I don't have any recollection of, of those pieces. Yeah. Um, and I really focus on, like, now where I'm at today, like, everything that I produce, I'm like, I'm never going to delete this. Yeah. When I can't yeah. delete I mean, it's, yeah. it's Mercury Racing's video, so, That's like, cool. I can't go back and just say, like, Andrea, this video just is a little off. Like, let's delete it. Um, and we can't do that. So it's uh, it's very important to me to create things now that are and, that, that I'm know, proud of. And yeah. how cool it is to be doing it for a company that is... Yeah. You the know, leader of our industry. And... Yep. You know, obviously, where you grew up, it's right. it's it's a big deal. So, yeah, and being in Wisconsin too, like um, Mercury is a very big name. For you sure. know, more than uh, you know, we travel to all these like amazing places to right. go to these events, and I think sometimes like where Mercury is located, where the product is built from, you know, bare hands, um, goes a little misunderstood uh, yeah. because in Wisconsin, you know, where I grew up. Um, you know, half, you know, my town or half of Fond du Lac where Mercury is based, you know, they're Mercury employees. Yeah. yeah. So it's a lot That's of our, neat. a lot of our culture is just, they're building outboards and stern drives, propellers, everything. So it's, it's very cool. Well, the whole marketing team has complete, a thousand percent faith in you. Andrea Jansen, <laughs> you have Nicholas, mm -hmm. Kim Bresser. Uh, so, and you guys work very well together, obviously evidenced by the, sure. the, uh, the gala tonight, right. the uh, Miami boat show extravaganza that you guys right. threw on there. That was a fun one. Uh, uh, launching the uh, V10 400R, mm -hmm. which was again, amazing video production there. So how do you stay on the cutting edge of technology to, to stay ahead of everybody else? So, and this is just like, I'm gonna try to, explain this in like a really good way but um i think when i when a project gets released and i'm able to like watch it back continuously like there are things that just irk me about what i create and i get like very uh i'm like okay what like okay that that looks a little off how could that change for the next one and then you you know you do some youtube go like google searches figure out how to do a new process or maybe stabilize a clip a little bit better or make a 3D visual look a little bit more realistic. Um, I think it's it comes down to like just not being, uh, it just sounds very cliche, but like not being satisfied with what is being done. Yeah. I'm proud of it, I am. Yeah. Um, you know, tonight was incredible. Um, everyone here and, and the product that we did create. Um, it sounds like a lot of any industry. I think yeah, it's to you work. talk to boat builders and they have that same thing yeah. where it's just like why does it keep satisfied. getting better? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because like why do any of the boat builders just keep releasing new models with new materials and new well, finishes right. because well, they're Myrick not satisfied. Myrick and I were just speaking earlier like the the crowd that was in attendance tonight mm -hmm. were industry legends. Like, oh yeah, like we're sitting there, it really was, you know, shoulder to shoulder, rubbing elbows with the <laughs> yeah. likes of Peter Ledden of Skater and mm -hmm. Johnny Tomlinson and John Cosker of Mystic, mm -hmm. Randy Sism of MTI, and from uh, Tim Siebold and, and Bill Siebold. I mean, I could go on for days. Yeah, and, yeah. and uh, but Tron to from Nortec. Yeah, I mean, all everyone, these guys, right? everyone thousands of boats, whether they ran it, rigged it raced it, 
built it from scratch, dreamt about it when they were a kid and right. ended up building it one day. Yeah. It's mind blowing. I, I was literally walking down uh, the bus from the hotel and I was like, oh, hey, who, hey, right? hey. Yeah. so cool, you know, I <laughs> yeah. can't believe it, you know, like wow. legends, you know, was, right there. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a test to even get here to even start recording this because yeah. we just kept wanting to talk more and more to whoever was yeah. in the room. Yeah, not 100%. joking, I'm sitting in the back of the bus with my phone videoing <laughs> like this, like, look, look who's, who's in <laughs> this bus, you know, yeah. it's like. I for, made it. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah just, I mean, for me, it's like a lot of my mentors, a lot of my friends, and it's just, to have us all in one area, Pioneers, you know, yeah. so far away from home, and so what a great influence Mercury Hat Racing has had on all of us, mm -hmm. because without Mercury Racing, none of us would be where we're at. Beca yeah. Because we all use the product, yeah. all of us that are in that, it, here, you know, throughout the country, mm -hmm. boat builders, boat runners, yeah, you know, all the uh, all of us. To that point, the Miami Boat Show one, right? Everybody was in town for the Miami Boat Show. We are all here in Charleston specifically for this event. Right. Nothing, 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 else. Else. nothing else is happening here. Nothing like else. the entire industry showed up to Charleston, South Carolina, for the 50th anniversary mm -hmm. and the subsequent $500 launch. So that's that speaks to just the power and. Uh, the crop yeah, toss that I mean, Mercury Racing has over the industry. Mm -hmm. And you commanded everybody's attention with your videos. Yeah, right. great job. At the, at the end of the day, yes. I think there were a lot of people that helped out with it. Yeah. You know, um, at, the, at the end of the day, like I'm, I'm the one who directs it. Um, and uh, we'll you know, put the video together and kind of figure out how we want to you know, create that message. Um, you know, but the Tom Lee, uh, you know, Carter, uh, Bill Doster, his guys, um, you know, Trevor Call doing FPV. Uh, I've had, you know, through this like Mercury Racing relationship, just had the pleasure of meeting um, incredible people who are just like s specialists at what they do. Artists, you guys um, are all artists. Yeah, and I always hate like just taking credit for everything because, uh, you know, hanging out of a helicopter and like and shooting boats is like a challenge. I mean, you have wind coming against you, you have sometimes you don't who know who you're uh, flying with um, yeah. from a pilot perspective. Um, and it's kind of, it is my job to make sure that like everything that we do create is just like looking good. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, so we, we so, can have nights to like. So cool to hear what so. you're saying. Uh, humble. Uh, humble with your profession, humble with how good you are at it. Uh, I feel the same thing about when somebody asks me about being a world champion or being right. a national champion. It's like, hey, it's not me. I'm just the one that gets it around here. My boys that are working on the boat all the time and my mm -hmm. girls that are taking care, you know, my wife, everybody that yeah. has some a little something to do with it right. is what makes it happen. Uh, fortunate to get the credit for it uh, but it's a it's a team yeah I mean it takes great people to do awesome things yeah. you know and it's it's impossible to do it all yourself yeah uh, and I, awesome. I I learned that you know er, very early on in my career where I thought I was able to you know do everything and at the end of the day I just kind of I, I gave in met amazing people <laughs> and um, Everything has changed since then, so it's definitely something that, like, it, it's worth recognizing, yeah. for sure. Well, Brevin, I, I gotta, again, hats off to you on amazing production Thank here. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Miami, all the other ones you've done prior to that, and all the ones that you're gonna come out with. Right. So I urge you guys, because we will clip in some of uh, Brevin's videos into this production, especially tonight's 500 launch. Pay attention to all the intricate details that he puts into it. It's literally millisecond by millisecond, and it, it's mind blowing. So when, I appreciate you, when, it. You, when you when you watch the video again, without just trying to see, oh, it's a 500R. The production and the love and the care that Brevin puts into every millisecond of the video is mind blowing. And so that's why I wanted this genius on with us uh, so look forward to your future productions thanks for joining us tonight yeah, and thank uh, you. congratulations on an amazing presentation thank you yeah appreciate it guys ray lee with speedboat magazine with myra coyle my co-host boats and bros, boats and bros. <laughs> the bros in Charleston, south carolina thanks for joining us like follow share and rate and subscribe and subscribe <laughs> and subscribe <laughs>
cutting edge technology, unrivaled durability, setting a new standard. Introducing the all new supercharged Mercury Racing V8 500R. Designed to deliver unparalleled premium performance and engineered to handle the intense demands of high-performance boating, the new V8 500R delivers astonishing power density. Weighing as little as 720 pounds, the 500R pumps out more than 500 horsepower, plus 10% higher torque than the 450R model, all on 89-octane pump fuel. The 4.6-liter V8 powerhead is boosted by an exclusive Mercury Racing supercharger, feeding the engine 26% more pressure than the 450R model. To better meet the increased airflow demand, the 500R features a new attenuator with a larger intake, a 15% larger throttle body, and an optimized charge air cooler flow pattern. A new low-inertia flywheel allows the engine RPM to climb faster for improved acceleration. Upgraded internal components include a new crankshaft with 1-inch drive shaft splines. Connecting rods, rod bearings, and pistons are strengthened to handle increased combustion pressure and a higher 6600 RPM redline. The 500R is the first marine engine to be equipped with humidity compensation technology. A new sensor measures the humidity level of the incoming air. The engine computer uses this data to maintain the most aggressive calibration to optimize performance under virtually all conditions. The result, up to 30 additional horsepower than would be available without this technology in the most challenging very humid conditions. The 500R is equipped with a full suite of Mercury Racing Technology solutions designed to enhance the boating experience, including the precision of DTS with available digital zero effort controls, adaptive speed control which maintains engine RPM as load changes due to sea conditions, compatibility to all SmartCraft technologies and a top cow service door that eases routine maintenance. Extreme performance requires the support of a strong core. The exclusive Advanced Racing Core, a durable new midsection designed as an integral element of the 500R. Advanced Racing Core features a strong transom plate, engineered to accommodate three inches of vertical adjustment by using the seven transom mounting holes twice the adjustment range available with the six-hole 450R transom plate. The enhanced trim system features two main hydraulic rams plus two new booster rams for added trim authority under full load and more precise trim adjustment at high speeds. Precision-fitted, heavy-duty guide plates and stiffened engine mounts are tuned to stabilize the engine for enhanced high-speed handling. The hydraulic power steering system has been upgraded to produce 18% more torque than the 450R power steering system. A newly designed steering arm, stainless steel steering tube, and steering cylinder are 20% stronger. An optional rear tie bar bracket integral to the arc provides a strong, ultralight mounting point for rock-solid precision steering on catamarans and other ultra-high-speed applications. 
The Advanced Racing Corp provides robust support for the 500R in the most demanding situations. This new benchmark in outboard power demands all new gear case options. Introducing the exclusive Mercury Racing R-Drive and R-Drive Sport. Our hydrodynamic experts have created a new 5.9-inch gear case with a crescent leading edge and long aspect torpedo tuned for high speeds and designed to thrive in submerged, semi-surfacing, and full-surfacing applications. Thanks to a new 1-inch diameter drive shaft and 1.5-inch prop shaft, to support a generous flow of cooling water to the powerhead, water pump capacity is increased by 57% and the R-Drive gear cases are equipped with low water pickups plus a new adjustable nose cap pickup system to optimize water flow for specific boat applications. The R-Drive gear case is designed to perform well in submerged and transition applications on boats capable of speeds between 85 and 100 miles per hour. A standard length skeg with an efficient parabolic cross-section shape is offered with left or right hand camber to balance steering force with standard and counter rotation props. Ready to go beyond the century mark? The new R-Drive Sport gear case is optimized for high performance catamarans and center consoles capable of reaching speeds beyond 100 miles per hour. Its longer, wedge-shaped skeg maintains steering control while operating fully surfaced at high mounting positions. The sport prop shaft is formed of ultra-high-strength aerospace stainless steel alloy to better endure the vibratory stress caused with the loading and unloading of a surfacing propeller. Material proven in the Mercury Racing M6 and M8 stern drive prop shafts. Both options are equipped with 1.60 gear ratio and can turn propellers up to 17 inches in diameter. From single-engine sport runabouts to multi-engine luxury center consoles and day boats, the 500R is designed to power a wide spectrum of performance craft. It is offered in four lengths, 20, 25, 30, and 35 inches, to accommodate any single or multi-engine performance application. The 26-inch center-to-center mounting distance on multi-engine transoms enables seamless installations on new boats and repower applications. Three color options are offered. Phantom Black or Cold Fusion White are finished with Mercury Racing graphics. For performance boaters desiring a more custom match to their boat package, the 500R is available ready for paint in Phantom Black with no applied graphics or trim panel. The 500R is covered by a three-year limited factory warranty with up to five additional years of Mercury product protection available, backed by the largest marine service network in the world. The Mercury Racing V8 500R is the new standard in outboard performance and the product of our commitment to relentless innovation. The water has never been more wide open. This podcast is powered by Speedboat Magazine. Subscribe now at speedboat.com for nine power-packed print issues a year direct to your mailbox.